Hi there, it's Sandra with Bruce City Thrifts. Today I am at St. Vincent de Paul in Waukesha. Let's go in and see if they have any koa wood. Let's go. Let's hit it. The shelves are looking really nicely organized today here at St. Finney's. And I am starting in an area that has a lot of uh, kitchen service pieces. And the first thing that catches my eye is this gravy boat. It is a Bavarian piece. It looked like it had a bit of age and uh, it wasn't anything too special. This looked to me like it might be Franciscan ivy, but I don't know if it was. This piece by Maxera might have been a bit of a miss. That typically sells for about $15. Then I noticed these condiment caddies back here. That one has kind of a beehive design. The one next to it, stainless steel. Probably those are, I'm thinking, a little bit more contemporary and not worth a whole heck of a lot, even though the vintage sets sometimes can go for some good money. Now this piece, this is a novelty item. It says, lay off the old man's private stuff, something like that. And it typically comes with a little naked uh, woman figurine cork uh, uh, stopper on top. When you have the stopper, it goes for about $30, $35. It is vintage, so I put it in my cart to keep an eye out for that stopper. In the meantime, I was looking at some of these salt and pepper shakers. I don't typically pick up salt and peppers, but it's just got to be something that for me is just really exciting and special. I am attracted to shakers like this that are from the first half of the 20th century, hand painted. Uh, if they're signed, uh, absolutely something I'm going to look at in this case. These were nice, but I decided uh, to leave them behind. The uh, gilding was really worn on the tops. This set of ceramics caught my eye. I like the design. It looks to me somewhat, you know, Art Nouveau, Art Deco in style. It has a label that says Czech and Slovakia. And I do like the design and I do like that piece. So I, the gilding seems strong on it. The colors were really pretty. It's got a pastel pink and blue that stands out. So I put it in my cart to think about it. And on the way back to the shelf to pick up the other piece, I get distracted first by this, uh, this terrine or covered, covered bowl serving piece, um, probably a soup terrine. It has violets on it, and you know I'm pretty passionate about ceramics and china with hand-painted violets. And then I see behind that uh, a matching bowl to the Czechoslovakian set, and I am considering that as well. But I end up going with just the platter for now. Oh my gosh, can you believe it? fingers like my fingers are fluttering all over the place because I'm so excited because it is a row pottery bowl it's salt glazed but it is this um this different color of the the a ceramic means it's uh it's a little more special and it, on the bottom it says it's a historical piece and I know it's something special, but I don't know exactly what I've got until I get a chance to look it up. As I'm looking through the dish sets, I do notice this set of hand-painted pasta bowls or cereal bowls, but they're the shallow bowls that are often used for pasta. And I like the pattern very much. I look on the back, it's Pier 1. It's the Etrusco um, pattern. And I really like it. And there's, I think, there's a whole set of eight plates and none of them are damaged. And I think to myself, hmm, this might be a thing. So I put them in my cart. I know that color in pottery and glass is really hot right now. The, the more vibrant and brighter and more colors, typically the hotter the item. But I still really like earth tones. And this lovely hand-thrown bowl to me is really beautiful. It's signed 
and it is really functional and look great in a boho decor and lots of other kinds of decor so i put it in my cart because i think it's really really nice and there is that stack of the etruscan plates i thought these ceramic candle holders were kind of nice they are a nice blue glaze one is of the Sphinx, the other one is of Amun-Ra, I think is the Egyptian god, anyway, or some sort of Egyptian figure. They're nice, um, but I think they're rather contemporary. Then this is a, what I thought was an Otagiri uh, ashtray. At first glance, I thought this butter dish might be Port Myron Botanic Gardens, but it is not. Uh, I do collect the Port Myron pattern and it can go for some nice uh, profits. This is Franciscan apple and that is a vintage pattern that is very popular and collectible but it is there's some chippies on the edges so those stayed on the shelf. I was excited to notice this set of saucers because the design I knew was Ken Edwards and yes it has a signature on the back. Now some of these pieces are not necessarily Ken Edwards pieces even though they have a similar design. The little animals or critters under the KE on the back are the signatures of his apprentices at his studios. I don't have the cups, obviously, so I put the tea cup saucers in my cart and hope to find the cups somewhere else. Here are a pair of Myers Rum drip glaze mugs. They are vintage. I love the look. I actually have two of these for sale on my eBay store already, so I don't pick them up but I, I think those mugs are just really home style and they just make me want to curl up with them, to be honest. This snack set here with the plate and matching cup has a very Art Deco look. I didn't examine them super closely, but I'm gonna guess that they are not 1920s or 30s, but rather maybe 1950s or 60s pieces. Still very nice, but I did leave them. I've been wanting to pick up more figurines, but I'm really kind of picky about them. So I was really excited to see this tub full of die cast bronze miniatures. So I've done pretty well in the past with some pencil sharpeners that were die cast in different interesting shapes. These could be used in a dollhouse, and I just I liked some of the pieces they some of the pieces had had little you know additional moving pieces to them and i liked the ones that were perhaps potentially of the size that would fit into a dollhouse so i ended up picking up a few of these now i did pay up for them each of these items is 529 and that is really i i, I probably paid too much I think I was willing to pay up because I was excited to find figurines I was finally interested in. So I did end up taking the buggy, the cash register, and the bench. But I'm not sure if that was really a great investment. I'm hoping to double my money. But even if I don't, I was happy to find some figurines that I, I enjoyed. And then, of course, they'll be easy to ship. So those went in my cart. On this end cap, there was a whole series of Fiesta Ware teacups or mugs and saucers in a lovely array of colors. The, the price at $7.99 meant that I don't even think I could have doubled uh, my, my um, profit very easily with these, but they were kind of awesome and striking looking. I'm at another end cap that had some nice large vases on the top shelf and some vintagey items. There are some Hummels and other figurines on these other shelves. And as I was scanning, the thing that really caught my eye was this cherry yellow and green planter. And it did look like it had some age and it had a, a kind of an interesting shape. I love the yellow on it. So I plopped that in my cart and later on peeled 
the uh, sticker back to find out that it is a whole bowl. I went back to that um, end cap to see if there's anything else I wanted to pick up. This was a nice ceramic tray, but I think it had a crack in the corners, so I decided not to take it. I'm in the tchotchke aisle, more figurines to take a look at, but the first thing that catches my eye is this stone coaster set. It was priced up at $11.79. It is etched, and I think the etchings are intended to be like a whale or some sort of sea figures, but um, I did leave that behind, took a quick look at some other items before I noticed this cheery sweet little bluebird i do pick up ceramic birds every so often they remind me of my mom and when i go visit her grave in my little hometown i usually bring some ceramic birds to put on her gravestone so that one i thought she would love and i put that in my cart for her then I looked at some of these other items. There were um, some vintage plates. I took a quick look at those. Uh, they had pretty roses on them. This cutie was probably a hobbyist piece. Just like I like round, fat little animals, so I, I did like it. Um, I thought this cat was interesting, uh, but a little bit plain. So I left it on the shelf. I noticed on the shelf below this baggie of weights. I saw that they were graduated weights and I knew they were probably antique. They are asking $14.99. And when I did a quick search, I couldn't find them on eBay. So I wasn't sure what kind of, of, uh, of weights they were. They are most likely apothecary weights and antique. If I had been able to find them quick when I looked quickly, I might have picked them up, but uh, because I couldn't, I left them behind. I was running out of time before the store was going to close. I'm at my, the last shelves and I noticed this bank. It's made to look old, but it's not that old. It's cast iron though, and it was fun. It, it, um, it, I like the fact that it moved the way it did. Here's the shelves where I've previously found koa wood, and I'm scanning, scanning, scanning for koa wood or something similar, and uh, that's a cute little hand-carved um, couple of figures but no co with this time so maybe next time okay it is time for a cart review and the first thing is this novelty jug that goes back on the shelf i was never able to find the little naked lady for it this is the pickup of the day it's a row pottery works historical bowl made in 2003 and they can go for about 50 dollars on ebay I really like this handmade drip glaze pottery bowl. It's signed and it's got a really mid-century look to me. These Durham Industries die cast little miniatures were fun to pick up. I really like the sunny yellow on this whole console bowl and I'm hoping that I can triple my money on it. Here's the Pier 1 hand-painted pasta bowls, the Etrusco pattern. I'm not sure if I want to sell them in sets of four or try to sell all four, all eight of them together. And here are the Ken Edwards saucers missing the mugs or teacups. I still think they're going to go for some pretty decent return on eBay and I just love Ken Edwards stuff so I'm happy to have found them. There's a candle for myself. As you know, I burn a lot of candles, so I picked one up. And finally, the little bluebird of happiness that reminds me of my mom sitting pretty on those plates. Pretty nice haul. I'm pretty happy. I had a great time, and I hope you did too. I'm especially happy with the Ken Edwards saucers even though we couldn't find the cups or the mugs that went with those they still can sometimes bring a pretty good profit and I just think they're lovely so I am really happy to have found those uh, the row pottery 
I, I'm scoring that everywhere I go lately. It's like it's following me around and that's just fine by me. So I was really happy to pick up another piece of row pottery. Those dollhouse furniture pieces, those, I don't know if they're brass or bronze, sometimes can bring a pretty good profit. I paid up, but I'm hoping I can at least double my money. So fun times, hope you enjoyed yourself. Like my channel, subscribe, comment, and thrift on siblings, we will do this again.